In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why it is better to raise funding for short films using crowdfunding as opposed to finding investors. Also, if you like to get free tips on filmmaking and financing, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's say you have a short film, right? And you are in the process of raising the money for that film and you are considering taking the investment route. So, um, so finding investors to, to fund your film. So trying to find investors to invest in a short film is something that I really do not recommend. And, uh, and, and there's a few reasons why I say this. So one of the obvious reasons why I say this is because when investors invest their money into something, they are looking for a return on that investment. So then that short film has to make money in order for you to be able to pay that investor back. And as I'm sure you're all aware, short films very rarely make any money. And that's why it's sometimes hard to even find an investor who would be willing to risk their hard earned money and invest in something that has a very slim chance of making any money back. And the thing is, even if you do manage to find investors to invest in your short film, and for the sake of this example, let's just say the, the budget for your short film is 15 grand. And let's say you manage to get three investors to promise to give you five grand each to get you to your 15 grand, right? And let's say these investors promised you, they, they gave you their word, they, they absolutely promised you that they were going to invest in your short film. And then one week before you intend to start shooting a film, one of your investors drops out. That is five grand, almost 30% almost of, of your entire film budget wiped out and gone in one instant because one person dropped out. And that happens. Uh, you know, there's, there's one guy, and I'm not going to mention his name, but he had investors for his film and he was actually on set shooting the film. And whilst he was shooting, one of his investors just decided to go MIA. And he stopped replying to all of his emails and he stopped replying to phone calls. And that was it, he was just gone. And so this guy, the filmmaker, was now left in a position where he had lost a huge chunk of his film budget. And this is a result of one person dropping out. And, um, you know, as, as, as bad as that sounds, although people shouldn't really be doing this, uh, these things happen. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing we can do about it. They, they happen. Maybe that investor had an emergency come up in their life and that money that they were going to use to invest in the film, they now need to put towards this, this new emergency that's happened in their, in their life. There's nothing we can do about it. These things happen. So to mitigate your risk of this ever happening to you, with crowdfunding, there isn't so much of a heavy reliance on just one person. Because with crowdfunding, because people will only be pledging, you know, roughly 25 pounds or $25 each, if one or two people drop out, then that's fine. Because, you know, it's only the difference of 25 pounds or $25. That's, that's not really gonna, gonna put you in a position where you won't be able to make the film anymore. So it is so much safer for you, the filmmaker, to use crowdfunding because of that. So if you like this video, if you got value from this video, then you can also watch my completely free webinar showing you exactly how to raise funding for your film using crowdfunding. And the link to that webinar will be in the description section below. And also don't forget to subscribe because I, I like it when you subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>